the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. First, I have to say thanks to God that I can use right language. After two weeks, I, if I say something like in Polish or Ukrainian, and I hope, <laughs> forgive me. Because <laughs> I just came back last night. Last night, and uh, we celebrating exactly today, like beginning, the official beginning of Jesus' church, or through the Pentecost, Jesus established his church on earth. And after he resurrected, 50 days after that, he sent Holy Spirit to apostles and to each of us. Brothers and sisters, we have to respond to Jesus for this gift, Holy Spirit, and feel as uh, important members of Jesus' church, Holy Church. And uh, what we are beginning, would you Pentecost uh, feast this Mass we serve for David Anderson, what is intention for this week for us now? Tell to God, sorry for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great blessing in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. In my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may be confirmed the hearts of those born again by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time came for Pentecost, was fulfilled. They were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. He began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now they were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, standing in Jerusalem. At, at this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but were very confused because each one heard them speak in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement. Are not all of these people who are speaking Galilean? Then how does each of us hear them in our native tongue? We are Parthians, Medes, and Philippians, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya, and your as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews in converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. How manifold are your works, O Lord, the earth is full of your creatures. The Lord is out your spirit, and the Lord is the If you take away their breath, they perish, and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. The Lord is out your spirit, and the Lord is the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his words. Please to him be it my kingdom. I will be glad in the Lord. The Lord is our spirit, and the Lord is our spirit. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spirits gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them. To each individual, the manifestation of the spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Greek, slaves or free persons, and we were all given up to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, the disciples were prepared to do Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven, and whose sins are retained, you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. The Jewish feast of Pentecost was thanksgiving for the first fruits of grain harvest. It was called the Festival of Harvest. The sheaves of barley, the winter crop, were brought to the temple beginning at Passover after or until Sabbat, the beginning of the harvest season 50 days later. It was a joyous celebration with the people bringing the first fruits of the harvest to the temple and thanksgiving to God for his provision. At the appointed time during Sabbat, the first fruits of the land will be presented to God at the Holy Temple. With great pomp and ceremony, the people would travel to Jerusalem with their first fruits and baskets carried on their shoulders. The journey was accompanied by music and song. And when the pilgrims arrived at the foothills, they would adorn their fruit and the baskets. And as they entered the city, ranking officials would come to them saying, Our God, enter in peace. The first fruits would be given to the priests and prescribed passages from the Bible were read. And the ceremony would conclude with giving thanks to God for bringing his people to a land falling with milk. The people would present their baskets to God, followed by rejoicing and feasting before returning home. This was a tradition that told a story of the people of God. It was passed from one generation to the next, so that the next generation would know who God was and That he delivered them from slavery, fed them in the desert, gave them a land flowing with milk and honey, the promised land. And on this feast, they celebrated God providing them food that they needed for another year. They were praising and thanksgiving God all he had done for them. Tradition was so important in and for teaching them. Not everything was written in scriptures, and the same is true for us. We believe that tradition is from God, and Catholics recognize that the true rule of faith, as expressed in the Bible itself, is scripture plus is manifested in the living teaching authority of the Catholic Church, to which it is entrusted the oral teachings of Jesus and the Apostles. In the Second Vatican Council during the Divine Document on Divine Revelation, the Word of God, the relationship between tradition and Scripture is explained, and I quote, there is a close connection and communication between sacred scripture and sacred tradition, both of them flowing from the same divine wellspring, merged into a unity and tend toward the same end. For sacred scripture is the word of God in as much as it is consigned to write under the inspiration of the divine spirit. To the successors of the apostles, sacred tradition hands on in its full purity God's word, which was entrusted to the apostles by Christ, the Lord, and the Holy Spirit. 
And it continues. Thus, by the light of the Spirit of truth, these successors can in their preaching preserve the Word of God fully, explaining it and making it more widely known. Consequently, it is not sacred scripture alone that draws their strength, but everything which has been revealed. Therefore, both sacred scripture and sacred tradition are to be accepted and venerated with the same devotion and reverence. The verse from John 20:30, which we heard just a few weeks ago, stated, Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe in the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. Well, this verse from John's Gospel tells us that the Bible was proposed so that we be helped to believe that Jesus is the Messiah. But it does not say that the Bible is all we need for salvation, much less that the Bible is all we need for theology. And it does not say that the Bible is necessary to believe in Christ. After all, early Christians had no New Testament that they could appeal to, that they could look to. They learn from oral rather than written. It's important to remember that the Catholic Church, what it means by tradition, the term does not refer to legends or mythological accounts, and it does not encompass customs or practices that can change as circumstances warrant. Such as what a priest wears during a Mass, or the rubrics of the Mass, the words that are said, or how they're said. Sacred or apostolic tradition consists of the teaching that the apostles pass on thoroughly through their preaching. And these teachings overlap those that are contained in sacred scripture. The first Christians devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching long after there was a New Testament. From the beginning, the fullness of Christian teaching was found in the church as a living body of Christ, not as a book. The teachings of the church, with its oral apostolic tradition, was authoritative. Now, fundamentalists will say that Christ that condemned tradition. They note that Jesus said in Matthew, Why do you? transgress the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition. And Paul also warns, see to it that no one makes prey of you by philosophy or empty deceit according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. These verses merely condemn erroneous human traditions not truths which were handed down orally and entrusted to the church by the apostles. These later truths are part of what is known as apostolic tradition, which is to be distinguished from human traditions and customs. Some examples of apostolic tradition are in the sacraments of initiation. Jesus told us that whenever we gather together to share his teachings, that we should imitate the sharing of his body and blood in remembrance of him, given us when he gave us the Eucharist. Apostolic tradition passed on how it should be done. In the Gospel of John, Jesus speaks of the coming down of the Holy Spirit. Again, apostolic tradition gave us confirmation. The specifics of each are not written in the Bible. They don't need to be because they were lived by the apostles and their successors and are handed down on the hospital. Other examples related to Mary are her being born without original sin, her virginity, and her assumption. The conclusion of today's gospel 
verifies that the Holy Spirit is the divine teacher of the apostles after Jesus Christ. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach each of you and remind you of all that I have told you. Future, the next few months, I'll speak to you more about the revealed presence of Christ in the Eucharist as well as the need for reconciliation to see what their origin. But for now, please remember that the apostolic tradition of our Catholic faith is a part of and true in speaking to the dogma of our church. The church. Pope Francis and all the clergy. May the Holy Spirit continue to fill them with grace, strengthen their faith, and guide them, spreading the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. The public opinion. May God direct them in a just and fair decision. Let us pray to the Lord. For those struggling with difficult decisions, may the Holy Spirit fortify their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> For those in the faith community who are physically, mentally, emotionally in pain, may God send His Spirit to comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> For those who have died, who have been in the heavenly promises, may God welcome into this heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Peace in Ukraine and war throughout the world as well as one of us. Let us pray to the Lord. The intentions we will be silent. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, hear our prayers present them to you all with love and trust in your presence. With this, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ.
Say number 193, come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy And sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these gifts we have consumed pour out upon this gift the blessing of your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you make your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, this same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the more the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Especially remember Debbie and their circle to be praying and dismiss and all the victims from war in Ukraine. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we therefore say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed in thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honor us that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Some taste and see, and this is the future. Pretty too.
Let us pray. May this gift we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles. Through Christ our Lord. I hope, brothers and sisters, that you not um, forgot our tradition that uh, after we got the chance to go to the Lord's club, we can find a uh, small wall full of things to take from this and also master the food. Switching from your uh, packets to the box and <laughs> take bulletin. But in the bulletin, uh, we have uh, lots of activities. You can see information. At first, what we uh, announced uh, a couple of weeks that today, uh, this is like special uh, sale uh, homeland uh, articles. You can see behind you to after mass, uh, also this is once usually once a year we help people in a uh, holy land palestinian people and we uh, sail for some group special group of this like over 150 christian families who uh, prepare this wonderful uh, like holy artificial from, from uh, holy land wood and sail and help people who live in palestine you can see i call it uh, use this and buy and uh, Gifts and we do this like tomorrow each weekend, each mass during the weekend today and tomorrow both masses out and just in the corner of the house to the holy uh, land sale special gift. And uh, yeah, like like uh, uh, each Tuesday, like each, uh, each week, we have an uh, adoration. Uh, in our church at the Easter morning mass for the Blessed Sacrament is on the altar in 3 p.m. Divine Mercy chapter uh, pray together. At 7 in the evening, rosary prayer and follow his benediction is ending of his adoration. And uh, coming weeks, the more activities will this June 9th, Ladies Guild lunch is 1 p.m. Each ladies is inviting to join, especially for the lunch, but also for the group, uh, for the Ladies Guild. You can see more details look in the in the bulletin uh, and uh, uh, this coming week uh, we have a saints of can blood arrive in our downstairs hall but remember that you can't come like directly you have to register to the call on this website and register if you want to keep your blood and uh, what is like important what i remind you what we this special grand reopening for next uh, Sunday, but also we move this our international food festival. Time to come. Message 11 will be leading by Bishop Greece and we'll use this as a uh, the languages this mess. But after we will bless our uh, Alexander Hall, I hope that each of you. Or at the south is all which is totally different. If you try to remember, like yeah, one year ago or years ago, uh, look now, it's totally different. If you'd like to use this as a special part of all that, especially for us, for our parishioners. And it's my request please join for this festival, food festival. Uh, Message 11, I hope that be outside and will bless the uh, whole and use uh, many different uh, nations. Uh, Food and special medicine, also kind of beer, everything what we have, we share. First, <laughs> it's not only strong medicine, but good medicine. First, join for the celebration, and we need people to uh, serve. Please help join us um, as a helpers to serve this because it's lots of work, lots of service for this special celebration. Remember this, pray for this intention in and join for, for this special celebration. Next uh, Sunday, less at 11 and after mass, uh, we have this festival, food festival. 
And I would like to say special thanks to our Knights of Columbus. Uh, it's interesting, directing by Deacon J, but he's not. <laughs> he's not a knight, but he's a professional because they yesterday they had lots of work where they uh, put, uh, put this uh, mulch around the uh, church. And he, today was about 40, 40 years, and today some few. This is, this is what I thanks, thanks so much. for this night of Columbus crew. And I would like to say again, thanks for this help in Ukraine, because you remember we collected this help to Ukraine, what I shared uh, two different places, two different dioceses, this, this money, what I uh, visited in Poland, and uh, we collected 17,000, because lots of, lots of help to them. And uh, one part, I shared with uh, area what now is like difficult uh, place, Mariupol in this area, what is the diocese in Zaporozhye, what is part of uh, two bishops who are in this area. Especially they need like a lot of food because they couldn't find, it's just like everything destroyed. And other part around Lviv, this is closer to like uh, west of Ukraine, closest to Poland. But also now is problem about food in Ukraine. Because people who live from Ukraine in Poland, so there are 3 million, it's no problem they can find food. What most of the uh, money that they had is Ukrainian people, they try to buy some food here, and then some of them have to try to you know, share this picture or the, more information. But this is situation what they need to lift up. Uh, pray for them and pass for because what, we, what they use this money, what I gave them for, not only for food, because also for some simple equipment for the soldiers. Just what today I, I received another short text message from Bishop from Italy. Really, really thankful and said, like, blessed people and that pray for us. Really, really thanks for this help. And uh, what we usually do, pray our extra hail Mary for people who are trying Peace on the world for peace in time in the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, serving the Lord with your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just remind the stop on this wonderful gift. So turn back and bless you. Thank you. God bless you.